Whisper Gaming ASMR, and if you're new here, I just want to let you know I upload two versions of all my videos, one with quiet gameplay audio and one with no gameplay audio, so if you'd prefer to watch the other version, it is linked at the top of this video in the description. Now that that is out of the way, in this video, I'm going to be eating a hard candy, a red jawbreaker, to be more specific. And I'm playing a very highly anticipated game, the new Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So, I don't think this is going to be like a complete A to C gameplay series. I'm already a little ways into it. Um, and I'll probably play it not on camera, so I don't think it's going to be a comprehensive series, I guess. But, um, this game seems to be all about creativity and things like that, so I hope you'll still enjoy it. I just started the game yesterday. I have maybe two hours into it. I've done two shrines so far. And I just got into the cave. And, uh, is it Zonai? I just started using Zonai devices, so hopefully that's not a spoiler. If you're watching this, hopefully you don't mind spoilers. This game has also been out for a little while at this point, so... I don't think I'm showing anything new here. Also, if you know my channel, uh, probably not going to be the most pro-level gameplay you've ever seen. I'm sure I'll do a lot of stupid things, but what I lack in gaming ability, I think I make up for in my whispering, hopefully. But let's see what this mining construct has to say. Please wait. This cave is especially dark. You'll need a light in order to proceed to the mining site ahead. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? I do, but let's have him explain what they are. Ah, you do not know of them. The glowing flowers. They are bright blooms. They shine very brightly. Many use them as illumination in dark places. These bright blooms grow natively in caves such as this one. This cave has been picked mostly clean of them. That is because it is especially dark. The seeds were often necessary. I am posted here to provide a reminder to bring bright bloom seeds. By the way, did you know bright blooms require a stimulus to blossom? Striking a bright, bright bloom seed or attaching it to an arrow will cause it to activate on impact. The bright bloom you see glowing there is no different. I caused it to blossom. It will generally be in your best interest to use bright bloom seeds in dark places such as this. Well, sounds like this mine is going to be dark. Okay, I have seeds. I'm just not exactly sure how to use them. Do I attach them to my weapon? Let's see. What do I have? Most of these are already fused. I can just drop the seed and then hit it. 
this. I just hate using a good weapon to break rocks. Stoneite, an unusual material that has many purposes. Ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for the crafting of weapons and armor. Got that figured out. Pick up this wooden stick. And now we'll attach a rock to this. And then... Now we can break these. sounds in this game aren't too loud or disruptive like this bell because there is a uh, there's no audio options in Zelda I can't turn down music or anything like that also feel like that's gonna get me a copyright strike but I guess we'll see it's not like these videos are monetized yet anyway Processed by smelting it in a furnace, 
and is thereby converted into materials with useful properties. A few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Thank you for your patience. I'll now explain what sorts of materials the ores can be processed into. Zona technology is typically powered by Zonai charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges, converting zonite into other useful materials in this way is called processing. Zonite charges are what power zonite devices in constructs. A charge can be consumed to replenish your energy cell. Crystallized charges are solidified a solidified form of zonite charges. We mainly use them as raw material in the construction of energy cells. Please visit anytime you require processing materials. That zonite is already slated for processing. It would pose difficulties for me if you took it for yourself. There are examples of processed materials available on the nearby shelf. I encourage you to examine them to see if there are any you want. Can I take these? I guess I'll, I don't even know how many of these I need, but I guess I'll take 18. I'll take six of them. If you want six, I'll require 18 pieces of Sonanite. It's a deal. Process this on a night later. The resulting materials will be available to you once the process is completed. What does that mean? Does that mean I have to come back to the sky? Like when these constructs, I 
wonder if he'll turn if I talk to him over here. I love the sound they make. You can hear it a little bit there. Just like the soft jangling. Yeah, it's such a great sound. This is a minecart station. Excavated resources can be transported from here. Could it be that you have forgotten to bring Zonai capsules? Zonai capsules. You have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonai capsules are convenient means of carrying portable Zonai devices. It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. That was nice. Three fans. And, yeah, the ones I gave you are fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They'll generate wind when struck. Zonai devices are useful and come in many varieties. I always carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglect to keep out the supply on hand. I keep watch for such individuals. The spares I gave you were the last I carried last ones I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that a device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Oh, let's see if I can find another fan here then. I need to look up a tutorial about using this power. Because I feel like I'm not very good with the rotating and stuff. Should I just buy more of these while I have the chance? Should I take these too? Who knows, maybe I'll need all these. I don't I don't know. I'm still very early in the game. And I have not looked up anything online. Because I'm trying to uh, play this blind and maintain as much of the uh, mystery as possible. Okay, let's see how this works. Quickly take the materials out of your inventory, press and hold. Okay. That sound effect when you're like rotating sounds like the selection menu in the new Star Wars Battlefront games. And here we go.
the sight of the temple and the sound of the, its bell stir fond memories in me. that shoots fire. It's thought to have been originally used as protection from monsters. Let's see what else I can get. If I do multiple, will I get two things?
Actually, I gotta get him out before I turn the the fan off. I wonder if I could attach him to a fan and just eat him into the sky. Good night.